Revelations chapter 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred, three score and six. Did anyone here ever forget their keys? Lose your wallets? I did too. On more than one occasion. And I hate it. Now though, I carry it with me at all times. Most of it at least. Well, not as carrying and actually holding it, but actually installed inside my hand. The interesting part though, isn't how I install it, rather the journey to this point. Um, it's kind of an unplanned journey that didn't only change the game and the technology field, but started creating a global community. A community where people using this are evolving everyday convenience. We can do easier travel. We can do faster and safer payment. We can do something as mundane as opening a door. I mean, the opportunities are endless. So this is a very short story about how I ended up here. And I wanna give you a glimpse of the vision on how to keep growing this community. Call halal la Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which means all praises to Yahweh, the Father, in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching His word of sincerity and truth. All right, Shalom. Um, you know this video is going to be entitled "Vocab Vocab Malone." What is the mark of the beast? Vocab Malone. What is the mark of the beast? All right. You claim that you a defender of the gospel. You claim that us Hebrew Israelites, we got it all wrong. We're not the prophets of the Lord. We're this, we're that. We're rapists and this and that. Well, the question is for you, what is the mark of the beast? All right. Because we know what the mark of the beast is here at Great Millstone. Okay. Starting with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right. We know what the mark of the beast is. We know that we're living in prophecy. We know that this is a prophecy that will fulfill, that will be fulfilled. Excuse me. All right. And that's why I read the mark of the beast scripture in the very beginning. Because he is going to cause of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand and their foreheads. And you know exactly what we teach about the mark of the beast. You know that we go into the word Mark and we look it up and that word Mark there in Revelations 13, 16, it goes into the Greek word karagma, which means what? Branded Mark, uh, something incision. OK, uh, uh, let me see here real quick. Bear with me. One second. One second. All right. Uh, stamp imprinted Mark. The mark brand upon horses, it says of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as a badge of the followers of the Antichrist. Right. OK, we understand that this mark is the RFID chip and this RFID chip, like the guy said in the video, is a game changer. All right. And um, this is a video from Ted. This was published back in 2017. And the title of it is Biohacking, The Next Step in Human Evolution or a Dead End. All right. Now, that title, you know, I could see why they put it. They put that is it or is it a dead end. It was 2017 when they published this. But guess what? You know what? I'm going to say it is a dead end because ultimately for all of you people that take this chip, 
this RFID chip and put it in your arm, you put it in your, 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 your hand, your head, your back, your legs, your feet, your eyes, all right? No matter where you put this chip, you have just received the mark of the beast, all right? You're all going to be destroyed by the by, by Yahweh, by Shem Shai, and by the way of thermonuclear fire, man, all right? And guess what? These guys that's chipped outside the country, oh, you're just going to be hunted by the, by, the, by the men of the Lord. You know, and I know vocab, you don't like that. <laughs> you know, he's going to call, he's going to demonize that. Oh, look what he said. Look at this, this and that. Now, nah, don't get away from the question, man. Do a video and explain to us what is the mark of the beast. You know, it seems that you like to, you know, just watch, you know, you obsessed with the Hebrew Israelites. You obsessed, you know, and you watch it. You know, we, we, we got this wrong. We got that wrong. We, 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 we teach hate. We rapists and we rapes, we rape little girls, all, all this slander, all this, all this uh, demonizing. But here it is. You can't do a video without doing a video on the Hebrew Israelites. All right. What about those Catholic priests that rape little boys? What about those? Why you didn't do a video on that? What about this? What about all this wicked? This, I ain't gonna, I'm not going to use rude words, so-called curse words. All right. But what about all of this wickedness that's going on in the world? You mean to tell me that the Hebrew Israelites are more wicked than the man that rule this earth? Are you serious? <laughs> because we know you're an agent, you're a paid agent, you're a paid agent. All right. Yes, you are a paid agent. You know, you're not an Israelite. OK, through the spirit, you know that you're not an Israelite. And you got an obsession going on with us Hebrew Israelites, and in particular, Great Millstone. All right. You know, you might be butt hurt because the videos being you being cut. You know, you got your audience that really doesn't care about truth. They just uh, don't want us to be true. You know, and it's not about us. It's about Yahweh Bashem Yahweh You people are in the root of wickening, man. Because you wait. To this devil, force this RFID microchip down your throats, man. All right, so I want to go into a little bit of the chip and, um, you know, what it does, man. You know, that's why he said it's a game changer. You saw him, he had it in his hand. He opened up the door on stage and then somebody went, mm. you know, you heard somebody in the background. And these audiences, these are the people of their community that's, that's looking to, he's looking to brighten their minds He's looking to brighten their minds so they can continue on in this community. Now, this video was back in 2017. It's 2020. And it says what? In Sweden, over, I think it's 90%. That whole country is, is cashless. You know, a lot of people chipped. A lot of people using their phones to buy things. All right. You look at India when they're dealing heavy with biometrics. You're dealing heavy with microchips. Okay, you look at Australia, a lot of them are microchipped. What is it, Wisconsin? What, what, what was that other one? I forgot the other one. Um, you got China. China's on another level, man. Uh, America got to catch up to China. <laughs> you know? So we understand that this is prophecy, man. And we know that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. All right? I'm going to play a little. I got a few other videos that I'm just going to flash I'm not going to play it long because you can go to these videos and look up for yourself. I could have chosen any video that I like, you know, because there's so many videos out there. It's, it's 2020, man. All right. This is the new thing. You know, this is the new way of buying things. Matter of fact, let, let me read the scriptures. I don't want to sit here and rent. So let, let me get uh, Revelations 13, 16 again. It says, and he calls of all both small and great. Rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand on their forehead. All right. Because this chip is not only um, radio frequency, that's power in itself. You know, our brains deal with frequency. When you put this chip inside of your tissue, it is it, it hijacks your frequencies of your brain, man. It can, yo, excuse me, I'm excited. Anybody with a frequency technology that can you know, uh, change frequencies can tap into your chip and can tap into your brainwaves and control your emotions. You know, this is not rocket science. All right. 
this is common sense. You can just, you know, but you know how vocab, you will paint this and try to say, oh, look at what he said. You can show your brain. With, with, do, do. You know, look, man, it's common sense, man. Anybody with a brain to think, you can put these things together. Hey, you look at these movies, man. All right. You can look up, you can keep watching on YouTube these different uh, uh, Edomites, and they're talking about it, man. All right. He's going to talk about it. He, he He's going to literally say he always wanted spiritual powers. So with him having his chip, he has a form of spiritual powers on the left side. Okay. Because this chip deals with your brain frequencies, man. Let alone frequencies to other chips, or other devices, but it's the frequency of your brain, man. All right. RFID, radio frequency identification. I'm saying let's deal with identification. This chip is a game changer. You heard the man say in the beginning, and it's just the beginning. It's only a minute and 34 seconds in, man. And he explained all of that right there. How, you know, if he said he kept, you know, if you lose your wallet, you lose your keys. He hated that. You know, we all hate that, of course. You know, that's the seller. He's selling it. You know, yeah, yeah. Lost my keys before. Yeah, that's right. Lost my ID. I lost my birth certificate, social security card. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, what's up with that? You know, sounds neat. <laughs> you know, but guess what? It's going to be a new form of identity. You won't need your birth certificate and security card. It will all be inside of your implanted chip. Okay. Now, identification chip. And it's also, since it's uh, dealing with frequencies, it's becoming now the new way of buying and selling. <laughs> it's become the new way of buying and selling. If we're here in 2025, man, let me say 2021, everyone is going to be microchipped. You know, there will be more people microchipped. Let me say that, man, because there's thousands of people today microchipped and living this life in convenience. You know, you wait till they start pushing more and more you know, here in the States, here in America of uh, being microchip and all of the special features you can have in the, in, in the, in the uh, easy access, you know, just like easy pass. You won't probably even need easy pass anymore. You just put your hand up on your, your glass window and it scans your hand. All right. This is why they created easy pass, man. This is why they, in the beginning they gave us debit cards. It was all conditioning you to what ultimately the end goal is to get microchip implanted, man. Okay? And anybody with any sense that do any research and you watching, you seeing what's going on, you will understand. You will understand. That's why it's written in the scriptures. Okay, so my question is to you, Vocab. If the RFID microchip um, is not the mark of the beast, then where is it at in the scriptures that talk about the RFID microchip being a new way of buying and selling? All right. If the RFID microchip is not the mark of the beast, where is it written in the scriptures about RFID chips? So you mean to tell me that I will, you know, let's say the most high he forgot about to warn us or to tell us about the new future of everybody being microchip? You know, if the RFID microchip is not the mark of the beast, right, where in the scriptures where it speaks about this new way of buying and selling, you know, this this chip, you know, that's going to be implanted in everyone. Where does it talk about that in the scriptures? So, and if it doesn't talk about that, that means that the Most High uh, forgot about to put that in there, you know? Or maybe, you know, or may <laughs> you know, <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> you know, and did the Most High forget to put it in the scriptures to let us know? What's going on? My, my Another question for you too, Vocab. Who's the wicked? Who's wicked, man? If the Hebrew Israelites are so wicked. Excuse me, man. I'm going to stay on course, man. I'm going to stay on course. Excuse me. <laughs> because I'm, it's, it's mind, mind boggling dealing with this guy, man. You're just so fake and phony, man. And, and real men of the Lord can see right through you, man. 
you know. But let me stay on track. Vocat Malone, what is the mark of the beast, man? So I'm going to play a little more of this video, and I'm going to flash some other videos. And I'm going to just wrap it up, man. Because, hey, that's the question for you, Vocat. You know what we teach. You know exactly what we teach. you obsessed with us, you know. So the, the ball is in your hand. Do a video, man. What's the mark of the beast? You see, as a kid, I was always in um, everything type. Technology, role-playing games, video games, you name it. Being a fairly wild outdoors kid, I ended up with a lot of injuries. A lot. So I often wished I had these kind of superpowers, either indestructibility or self-healing, you name it. So now you see where they're going with this. <laughs> because these elites want to live forever. And they believe that they're what? They microchipped. And they could have a chip. It could, it could regulate their cells. And hey, this chip is going a long way. Hey, oh, did I, for, I forgot about the health. Being microchipped makes it easier access to get into the hospital, man. Hey, sometimes when you go to the hospital, you got to sit and wait. I know over here in Jersey, you have to. Damn near all these hospitals. You got to wait damn near three hours just to be seen. You know, hey, if you got a heart problem, they could, they could, uh, you know, have a chip inside you and you can, you know, the doctor can actually work on you while you at, while you home. You don't even got to get up to go in the hospital. He could just tap into your chip, make your chip do certain things. This is the mind. This, if, if, this is what these people are talking about. All you got to do is watch these seminars, man. Watch these guys that's in this community of biohacking. They have got the green light to do whatever they want. And they doing it. Besides, they're making it, they're selling it so that everybody, starting with Esau, and then you got Moab right behind them, that's setting this chip, and they going on, and they calling it the future, man. That's all you got to do. It's so simple, man. You know, for the ones that's non-believers as well watching the video. Oh, my God. What is the can't be the mark? I'm so sick of hearing this. Because you got even Hebrew Israelite camps, man. It's sad that you got men of the circumcision that can teach you that they're Israelites. They can teach you that who the people, who the Israelites are. But they can't tell you the truth about the mark of the beast. Some of these guys say it's Christianity. All right. Some of these guys say it's an embargo. But here at Great Millstone, we tell you that what? Mark of the Beast is the RFID NFC microchip. And it's gonna be it's gonna come out, all right? And and, and it's gonna be it's gonna be uh known who was teaching the truth and who was prophesizing the prophecies. All right? And then you're gonna this Lord said, then you're gonna know who are my chosen, man. When these devils come in like madmen sparing none, as is written in a second edge of 16. Then you're going to know who are the Lord's chosen is, man. You're going to know who are the Lord's true men of the Lord, man. Okay? It wasn't until I read an article about Kevin Warwick, though. He's got massive skills and knowledge in AI, robotics, uh, bioethics, you name it. By childhood memory and childhood dream kind of got rekindled. So I started looking into RFID and this type of technology that he used to open his door to the laboratory, to his office. And it didn't take long until we found actually implantable technology that we could use. So having my history in the piercing community, I performed some 30,000 piercings and body modifications, safety always comes first. So having that safety, this has given a profound sense of security for, for, for the community, since we always do things in the exact same way. Anyway, this technology is like you saw, it's everyday technology that you'd use with your phone. You get on the train, you get on the bus, you, you bleep, uh, in the cash register to, to pay for your stuff. And all of that we can incorporate into this tiny microchip. And the big difference here is 
you're not gonna drop it, are you? <laughs> so doing this research, I got to know that I could do it on everyone. I would do it on myself anyway, for sure. But I wasn't alone. I had All right, this is pretty long, so you know, maybe I'll leave a link, or you could just type it in yourself. You know, let me go to this next video because he's gonna go on and on. Uh, hmm, should I go there or should I go here? Let's go here. Yeah, let's go to PBS News Hour, which this was this came out um, June 30th, 2019, January 30th, 2019, right? Beginning of this year. Let's play this video. An intense debate is underway over the benefits and draw. Because let me say this, you know, uh, Nate from IURC, the head, the head over there, you know, you know, he uh, he mocked Great Millstone. He mocked us and he said, it's June. Ain't no microchips. It's June. Ain't no microchips. And here it is. You know, you were wrong, man. You're wrong. You're wrong. All right. You know, and um, you guys over there, IURC, if you see this video, y'all need to start teaching the truth about the RFID microchip. You know, the whole point of um, our apostles and brothers getting on you guys is so that you guys can see the truth and teach the truth. You know, it's never nothing personal. You know, I don't know none of you guys, but I'm going to defend the gospel and the truth in which the Lord gave me, you know. You gotta start speaking and 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 um vibrating the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know that just don't go for them. That goes for all the men uh, that claim to be Hebrew Israelites. You gotta teach the truth. The RFID microchip is the mark of the beast, man. It's not Christianity. That's that thing Zabak, you know, over there talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about. He was with uh with uh, uh what's his name uh Sakari. You know, at the time, and he said that a couple of years ago. Nah, we don't know what you're talking about. You're saying it's Christianity. What What are you talking about? Yeah, it don't even make sense. You know, and IUIC, you say it's an embargo. You know, how can it be sanctions? That don't even make sense. What's What you gonna do when 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 um they force this upon you? If okay, let's this hypothet. Well, when when the economy crash, right? When this place go down. When when a, a false flag attack or something devastating happened, a economy crash, or they declare World War Three, martial law, uh, when, uh, a disaster, a storm, a, a tempest come through, and uh, they start forcing you to take this chip, what you gonna say then? Cause it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. They're gonna force it. You think just people in the world is gonna always be willingly just taking it? No, the Bible tells you he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand on their foreheads. Excuse me. Yeah. And, and, and guess what? It says that. Now, let me get um, Revelations 14 and, not, um, and 8, because the Lord said, if you take this mark. So how can you say Christianity when most of us Israelites that woke up to this truth? When we was in the world, our parents and our family members taught us to be into Christianity. A lot of us was Baptists, Pentecost, Jehovah's Jehovah's Witness, you know? Some of us, the northern tribes, they was heavy into northern or heavy into Christianity, man. You know, idolizing the Pope, you know, and things like that, man. So let me read this, man. Revelation 14 and uh 14 and um and 8. It says, and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations to drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image, and that image is talking about the system, okay, the system. Right now, the system is, is being regulated by biometrics. If you're not a part of the system, that means that you will be considered, what, a terrorist. You will be like an outlaw. 
We're part of the system right now because we all got to deal with the Federal Reserve. If I didn't want to deal with the Federal Reserve, nobody would take what I had to offer them in, in, in exchange for uh, trade. All right. But the game changer is that in order for you to buy or sell, you have to get the mark, meaning you have to be chipped. How can how can if 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 the Federal Reserve, the dollar bill is worth is not worth anything and everybody is digitally paying for things through a microchip and I don't got one, how I'm gonna eat? How I'm gonna buy and sell? All right. It says, um, Excuse me, verse nine. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or, or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. So if you go and take this chip. That's your ass. OK, the most high is going to destroy you, man. You're going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire, man. All right. Let me get another one. This is Revelation 15 and one. It says, and I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues for in them is filled up with the wrath of the most high vocab. What does that mean? What, 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 what's right? Is, is Revelation 15 prophecy fulfilled already? Because if you get into the mark of the beast, and <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> let me let me let me hold back real quick, you know? What what what, what that mean, Vocat? What what's Revelation uh 15 chapter? You know, is, is that a prophecy or is, is that fulfilled? Because we know it's a prophecy that it that that's that's gonna come to pass. It says, and I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous. Seven angels having the seven last plagues for in them is filled up the wrath of the most high. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire and them that had gotten a victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass, having the harp of the most high. All right. So these are the ones, the men of the Lord that got the victory. They didn't take the mark of the beast, man. The most high protected them, man. All right. The Most High didn't allow uh, uh, them to receive that mark. And let me get this scripture real quick. Uh, this is Revelation chapter 3 and 10. It says, because thou has kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. And that's how we know that the hour of temptation dealing with the mark of the beast. Because you're going to be tempted. You're going to be pressured. You're going to have to make a choice. You're going to be put in a, in a, in a, in a wedge between, between two, man. All right. You're going to have to, Hey, look, should I get, I'm going to take this chip and live and eat. So I, I could be good or no. And, and they're going to try to kill me. They're going to destroy me. All right. Hey, th these are troubled times we coming in, man. This is not a game, man. This is not a game, you know, throwing scriptures around and, uh, doing, uh, 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 coming at us scoffing. This is not a joke. This is serious business, man. A lot of people are going to die, man. It says, uh, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of, the, of my power, Yahweh, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of my city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down from out of heaven from the most high. And I will write upon him my new name. He that have ears to hear, let him hear what the spirit say unto the churches. Acts of human microchips. They're already used to identify ranch animals and pets. But the practice of implanting chips in people is also on the rise. Those who embrace the idea say they see it as a way to take back control of their personal data. But others are worried about how that data could be used. 
Special correspondent Malcolm Brabant reports from southern England as part of our breakthrough series on the leading edge of science, technology, and medicine. I don't want to live a normal life. I want to live an exceptional life, and I want to try things and do things that perhaps others in my situation have never done. Meet Alex Lewis, interior designer, businessman, adventurer, and motivational speaker. We were just an ordinary family, me, Lucy, and our son, Sam. Then, just over two years ago, I caught a common cold. It was to change the course of my life overnight. I'm in this condition thanks to an incredibly rare case of uh, strep A, and it led to toxic shock syndrome, septicemia, um, and subsequently sepsis. I lost all four limbs within about six or seven months. Alex is a pathfinder for those with serious medical conditions. In the remains of each arm, a microchip has been implanted. One is to hold medical information, the other for a chore the able-bodied take for granted. For me, as a, a prosthetic user, one of the most fiddly things is keys. Keys are a nightmare for us. And the microchip, when looking into it, we realised quite quickly that it could save a lot of time. So for me, it was going to be uh, beneficial for that. I could lose 15 minutes trying to get in my front door. I could lose 10 minutes trying to get out of my back door. Uh, and now all that's been been saved. These microchips use a system called near field communication. It's exactly the same sort of technology used in contactless debit and credit cards. Like the bank cards, the chip's information can be scanned, but it cannot transmit. Once banking security has been configured, developers believe consumers will soon be free to spend with the implant. A British railway ticket. You heard that? Able to spend with the implant. And they already doing that, man. Buying with the implant, man. You see? <laughs> so, hey, I'm going to uh, jump to another video. And for the sake of time, it's about 30 minutes, 32 minutes. I'm going to play this video here. So if you try to say that uh, they're not microchipped in the head, well, guess what? These paraplegics, men like the men you just saw from this from this video, uh, this guy right here, you know, his missing limbs. This is perfect for them. You know, this chip is is, is a it's it's like a miracle, man. All right, it's like it's like a a, a miracle. You know what? Let me uh bear with me real quick. Um, uh, I forgot what I switched at. Uh, let's see. Bear with me. Uh. Here we go. Revelation 16 and 14. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles. Because it's a miracle, man. All right. From the left hand side, you know, it says working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world. So notice it's not just here in America. It's happening everywhere outside of America. And it's going to happen, <gasps> happen here. Excuse me. It says for they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of the almighty, man. Because the more that Esau chip, everyone, he's going to be able to do what? Number the people, okay? He's going to be able to number all Israelites. He's going to be able to number the uh, uh, all, all nations, man. Because when he start to chip, he's going to want to start chipping too at, uh, at birth. That's going to be part of the procedure. When a child is born, you put them on their mother, you take them, wash them off, and they're going to chip them right away, man. Get, get them, get them uh, put into the system, you know? It says to gather them to the battle of the great day. And that's really what's going to bring back, what's going to bring the Lord, man. Because uh, let me get another quick scripture real quick. This is Matthew chapter 24 and um, 22. And except those days shall be shortened, there shall no flesh be seen. All right? Now, this this scripture can apply, all right? No flesh will be saved if everyone be microchipped. That means that everyone will be what? Will be programmed under the orders of Esau, all right? He will be able to take over your, uh, your, your spirit, man. It's hijacking your spirit. When a man can control your emotions through frequencies and through a push of a button or turning a knob, that, that's, that's God control, man. Only the most high can control us in all assets of our lives, man. 
you know? It says, um, and except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. All right? And this scripture applies, man, okay, to, to this time, okay, for this matter as well. You know, so I'm going to play a little bit more, and I'm going to grab this next video. But it's much different in Sweden, a country supposedly leading the microchip revolution. On Sweden's high-speed rail lines, for the past 18 months, implanted passengers have put their travel payment on the chip. I think it's really good with the chip ticket. I love all companies that use the chip technology. But the rail company is stopping the experiment. The number of implanted passengers is relatively small, and it wants to pursue other forms of ticketing. This is not a setback, insists Sweden's microchip pioneer Johan Osterlund, a former body piercer seen here giving a TED talk. We can do easier travel. Hey, and that's the spirit too. I didn't even know these videos link up like that. That's the spirit. All praise to how about Shmuel Shai. I, I watched this guy first, and then I end up pulling this video. I didn't know that he was linked up in this video as well. Hey, that's the Lord, man. We can do faster and safer payment. We can do something as mundane as opening a door. I mean, the opportunities are endless. Unfortunately, these innovators often don't think about the political ramifications. Gus Hussein is the exact... Yeah, and another thing, too, you are going to have a lot of people that's going to be against it. You know, but does that take the fact that the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast because you don't you don't agree with it? <laughs> Uh, should your unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid, man. So there's going to be a rebellion. That's why they're going to come down having great wrath, man. Matter of fact, I got to get the scripture, man. Let me get that. This is Revelations chapter 12, verse 12. It says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you. And that devil is talking about a man. It's not talking about demon uh, or, or spiritual Satan, all right, the angel on the left side that the Most High created, all right, to be the top angel on the left side. He's not talking about Satan. He's talking about, well, he is talking about Satan, but he's talking about the counterpart of flesh, which is these Edomites. It says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them, woe to inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he know that he have but a short time and you elites they know that they have for the short time because who's returning yahweh shy man so you're gonna have a lot of people also rebelling against this man that's what's gonna make it more uh uh, uh more forceful man more shoved down your throat when that time come man okay I want to get another scripture real quick. And the scripture's flying at me now. Um, uh, I want to wrap it up. Uh, let's see here. Let me go down. Let me get 2nd Ezra uh, 16, right? I think it's 54. Uh, boop, boop. 2nd Ezra 16 and 54 says, Behold, the Lord knoweth all the works of men. You see? The Lord knoweth all the works of men. Their imagination, their thoughts, and their hearts, okay, would speak but the word. Let the earth be made, and it was made. Let the heavens be made, and it was created. And his word were the stars made, and he knew, and he knoweth the number of them. Excuse me. He searcheth the deep, and in the treasures thereof. He knoweth, he know, it's like he hath measured the sea, and what it containeth. He hath shut the sea in the midst of the waters, and with his word, hath he hanged the earth upon the waters. Now, let me jump down um, for the sake of time here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, right. This is uh, Second Edges 16 and 68. For behold, a burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. And another thing is that this chip is like an idol, man. All right. It says... Um, and they, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and a reproach and tried under foot. So you go and take this chip 
That's like, you know, you just you just uh committing suicide, man. You go and take this chip and take this mark. That's committing suicide. All right. It says, um, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and a reproach and tried and underfoot. So you're gonna be destroyed, man. All right, let me get this one more video, and that's it. So these are brain chips, man. Brain chips. Just like a lot of men in the military are getting brain chips, man. Or getting chip, they just getting chipped. You know, getting chips in their tongues, getting chips on their arms. All right? So people are getting brain chips as well, man. This is the new thing. And this is an old video, man. This is very old. I, this, this, this is, yeah, 16. All right? Maybe even older than that because I did a video on this. I remember this video a couple of years back and doing a video on this where it was, uh, wasn't just words being written across it was it was on rot and it was actually speaking about it you know but you know that's it man um it's about 40 minutes in let me, let me, yeah, give it give it another minute when we first hooked everything up you know for the first time of being able to move my hand it was a big shock because you know it's something that i haven't hadn't moved in about three and a half years at that point You got the idea, you know, so vocab, you know, what is the mark of the beast, man? And if and if the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast, then where in the scriptures where the Lord spoke about these microchips? Because this is the new thing and this is what they're going to do. All right. Where in the scriptures did the Lord talk about people being microchip? You know, the, 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 so did the Lord leave, leave that out? He just missed that. You know, he missed that and that's just not in the Bible. All right, if it's not the RFID microchip, vocab Malone, what is the RFID microchip? Hey, so you know with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his words to certain and true. Shalom.